Hey, how come this magical experience that you get out of a Rivian doesn't exist in anything smaller than a car? So Rivian also has a bike. Also is the brainchild of Rivian, an e-bike that rides more like your R1S and functions like nothing else you've ever seen on the market. It has regen braking, a phone key to operate, and did I mention it has pedal by wire? And this is not just another e-bike. We have a connected helmet. We have a completely modular software designed pedaling system for the e-bike and we also have a quad and they all charge from a USB-C charger. Today, I'm gonna get a chance to ride it and find out if all this tech actually costs the same as a Rivian. And unlike traditional e-bikes, also as bikes and quads use a pedal by wire drivetrain where pedaling doesn't mechanically drive the wheels. Instead, sensors detect effort and software commands an electric motor to propel the bike. This gives it an effortless experience. They also brought EV grade batteries into the bikes and charged with USB-C at 240 watts and bi-directional power. With the larger battery, you get 100 miles of range and 180 newton meters of torque. It's a class three e-bike, so your pedal assist is up to 28 miles per hour and your throttle, where legal, is good for 20 miles per hour. You also have hydraulic disc brakes and regen braking that extends range by 25%. Right away, we have the launch one coming out, which is basically the same as the performance, and that one is going to be $4,500. $4,500 is also pretty in line with what I've seen, and then just to be able to have something that's so well thought through.